All right, so now we are going to be going over the model to wall function, which is probably one of the things that you will use scuffed walls for the most, I would expect anyways, because it is one of its highlight features. First thing you're going to want to do, go to the GitHub releases page and make sure to download um, 8.2. That's the newest version. It supports live backups. So if we go into our Friday folder from our last example, uh, backups, then you have the map history and the scuffed walls history. So it auto backs it up kind of like Mediocre Mapper does, which is very nice. Uh, it supports point definitions and some, some code cleaning. It warns you if you do not have the requirements for Noodle and Chroma, and then it does also does some stuff. Uh, RGB, so colors, now you go 0 to 255 instead of 0 to 1. So that's nice. So if you remember from our last video, uh, when I was trying to do color, I explained it was a scale of 0 to 1, and you had to divide and get the decimal. Now it's just 255, so it's a very good feature. Once you have that downloaded, and I have just this little file here where I keep all my example stuff, uh, we're going to want to re-import the map, obviously. So we're going to bring that in. We want to do our export standard. We're going to auto-import, create a, back, bat a, a backup, and there we go. So now we can go here, and we can open up the scuffles file, and everything's going to be saved. And we can start with the model to wall. So in our last example, we had the blackout function, which started at beat 10, and it was 20 beats. So it ended on beat 30. So let's start this at, oh, I don't know. We'll say beat 40. We're going to type the beat, obviously, colon, and then the function name. So model to wall. And then we can save it. And it is giving us this error. And I do believe that is related to we don't know the path. So it can't do anything. And we saved. So let's make sure we have that. Uh, if you go into the scuffed walls uh google drive docs not the official one not the official ones with the drives we have this uh, physics.da file that you can get from the additional resources it is just a a 3d model of some physics uh blocks oh dear lord that's gonna open in photoshop that's not good and we're just gonna put that into our uh our folder so we can use the local path so if we do path and then Colon, do I have that? Oh, I do not. So physics, P-H-Y, S-I-C-S, physics.dae, and in theory, if we bring up scuffed walls, there we go. So now it has the file, and obviously you can do full path and do the full thing if you wish. And now that we have that, actually, it gets fairly simple, because this just kind of builds off what we did last week with the um, text to wall, because it's pretty close. The next thing that we want to make sure, and this is very important, is this thing called has anim oh, animation. This um, quite literally is a bool, so that means it can be true or false, on or off, uh, yes or no. This is saying doesn't have animation that we it does, so we're going to type true. If it does not have animation, you can do false, or if it has animation and you. So this has animation, so we're going to type true. Um, if it does not have animation, you obviously want to type false. And for some reason, if it has animation, but you type false, what it's going to do is it'll take the first frame of the animation and make that the entire model, and it won't change at all. Uh, the next thing, duration. Um, I mean, yeah, we can do 20 beats. It's just how long it is, and this will scale... Um, how long the animation is to take up that time. So if it was two beats, the animation is going to be super duper fast. Whereas 20 beats, it's obviously going to be just a little bit longer than that. And our last important thing is normal. It defaults to false, which means that it is just going to um, float in the air wherever we set it. So uh, where is it here with the animate definite position that allowed us to make it float in the air and just not move. By default, this is animated or kind of uses animate definite position to just uh, not move. But if we said true, then what it would do is the wall would come, would, would go past us like a normal wall does in Beat Saber. So for some reason, if you do not want it to be in front of you and animate, you can have it just fly past you if you wish. So that's something you can do. And that is pretty much the basics of all the important model to wall functions that we need to cover just to get you give you a rough understanding of it. It is actually, in my opinion, less intimidating to do than image to wall, which is pretty cool, considering that this is one of its 
uh, best features. Um, so let's go ahead and let's launch a Beat Saber and I will show you what this looks like so you guys can get an understanding of it. Let's open up Beat Saber here. Okay, so there is the text wall that we did last time. And in theory, we should get our model soon after. And it's going to lag. But there we go. And there we go. One model to wall. And it's quite big, so we can scale that down. And then it finishes a bit before it's over, so it's just going to sit there. And that was the basics of Model to Wall. It is quite and, simple. Oh, Obviously. let's do something fun. Let's do... Ooh, let's do rotation. Let's make it rotate 90 degrees. So we can use our rotation parameter. And then this works on the... Kind of like if you've ever used Unity, I guess this is an example, or a 3D model, or it rotates it on the XYZ uh, coordinates. So what we can do here is if I do a 90, then zero, and let me make sure those are commas, and then zero, zero. In theory, if Scuffed Walls takes it, and if it does, that means I've done this correctly. When we launch our map here, and it should be here, yep. And it, oh, we forgot to update. That's important. Let's make sure you do Control R and Beat Saver so it updates correctly. Okay. Should be right here. Yep, and it is lower because obviously we moved it and we rotated it. And when we rotated it on the x-axis, it took where it was standing up and it turned it kind of in that sort of angle. Um, that was my bad. If we wanted it to just turn 90 degrees uh, horizontally, it would be 0, 0, 90 because of the Z, but um, that's fine. Uh, this does not like that. Always make sure you close off that bracket. And there we go. That is a uh, model to wall with the covering the animations, kind of the duration, rotation, all those fun things. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments or you can DM the light designer. His Discord will obviously be in the description below. And um, yeah, if you have a specific function you want me to cover, just let me know. But other than that, next week it should be image to wall that's going to be so much fun and after that we just get into the kind of custom stuff and that will be significantly more boring so uh, yeah see you next week